Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Bring it in, take a seat, because we got to speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and play and follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. S. Carter, Ghost Rider. And for the right price, I can even make Yosh tighter. I roast niggas like you, smoke niggas like you, take your little jewels and put the toast to niggas like you. So I want to talk about ghost writing or the thought thereof and other constituents and associates in the battle rap community's reaction to the battle that happened this weekend, you know what I'm saying? Queen of the Ring had their card, no holes barred three. There was a lot of dope battles on the card. There was some things that went down, but Yoshi G, salute to Yoshi G. She's pretty much the biggest story off the card. Her performance versus Lady Caution has had some raise an eyebrow accusing her of being ghost written for. Now, I'm not gonna be the one that's gonna say that this is happening, I don't know, I don't have any definitive proof, but if it is, it is nasty. So, I'm, I'm gonna take y'all through a couple things. So, Lex Luthor, salute to Lex Luthor and everything that he does, I Battle, I Battle TV, I Battle app, a lot of dope artists have come from I Battle, you know what I'm saying, real sick. Uh, King Jables, a lot of other cats have been over there and did they think. Uh, you know, he's a very well-respected figure in the community. He does a lot of battle rap shit, and he gets busy himself. He's had a bunch of battles himself, most notably Deonta Henny Man not too long ago. So now, he says, am I the only one that cares that QP clearly wrote for Yoshi again? She had a whole ass Cinderella scheme. Laugh my ass off. And Tay Rock said, the female battle world, they got it bad. All types of shit is accepted. I mind my business, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is basically what was said. And then New Jersey Twerk, salute to him and everything that he's got going on, went on to say that I'm about to start ghostwriting for itches. Basically, because, like, this has been a thing that's been like a long standing thing in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, females getting written for and. I've spoke on it before, I don't really agree with it, I'm not a fan of it, but unless it can be definitively proven, it's kind of hard to put that on somebody. So, um, I did watch, um, not watch, I read the comments of our recap, and there were people who clearly were saying that they felt like he wrote for her. Now, I know um, Quantum pops up every now and again, you know what I'm saying, he'll pop up and he'll start making these 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 sayings and saying things and um that that he helped spar with people and all that other stuff so uh rock went on to say uh another comment from rock he said url tv i know y'all can find qp nigga get me him now saying that he wants to battle him oh man that's so unfair just give the flowers to qp i got a lot to speak to him about you know what i'm saying like he's basically saying give the battle to him because he's got a lot of things so now rock is like he wants to battle quantum physics because his writing or lack thereof writing. Um, I will say this. Yoshi G was better than I've ever seen. Ever. Ever. The recap did numbers. It wouldn't have done those numbers if she wasn't crazier than she's ever been. We probably would not have went live if that performance wasn't what it was. Um, I will say that it's going to be expected from her to continue to put on as such. She said in, you know, past interviews and lives and shit like that, that nobody's writing for her and that, you know, sparring. See, the sparring thing is one thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've heard rounds. Me personally, like, I've heard, like, people call me and they'll wrap their rounds. It doesn't, I don't want it to happen that much because I gotta still watch the battle. I've seen people call me with rounds and win their battles and I've seen people call me with rounds and then they go lose their battle. So I, I've seen it and I've heard it. But, you know, if somebody is sparring with you, that's one thing. 
But if they're replacing and giving you this and helping you with that, like, nah, say this, say that, say this, that's kind of a little, that's steroids in the pen. Um, she's been accused of this, and for a, a good majority of folks, niggas don't really care. They just want to be entertained. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers, it's just like, I just want to be entertained. It is what it is. But yo, is, is they writing for Yoshi? Get it, get it, come on. Girl, is you being written for? Is you being written for? I will hope not because, uh, you know, people are going to be quick to speak on this type of stuff. So I'll read a couple comments that came in the um, from the blog that I did yesterday. Dre Rose said no hate towards Yoshi, but it's difficult to me to respect the win and her material when she's clearly known for having a ghostwriter. The entire time she was rapping, I'm wondering if she wrote all three rounds. Measy Slim says, so you get praise for winning a battle you didn't write for, yo, SP. You don't care that Yoshi didn't write her bars? When you start care when you stop caring like that. Uh, 1-800-BLOODSPORTS said, not hating and rumors aside, I truly feel like, I truly don't feel like Yoshi wrote all her bars. It was too clean and the wordplay was a little too intricate at times. She probably didn't show up because she had to meet with her ghostwriter. Ghost, 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 SP the ghost. Now I'll say this, I'm gonna go as far as this. If it is proven that battle rapper, female or male, is getting their raps written for them, that is an automatic L. That shouldn't even be predicated. Like that's not even gonna, that's not gonna fly out of any airport if that's being proven. Now I did see A-Ward uh, who just battled Lou Castro uh, in, in, in a battle on the culture down in Texas. I'm hearing good things about that. He definitely said that if you can't definitively prove it, you can't put ghostwriting or having somebody being ghostwritten for on them. That's in a paraphrase, in a, in a short sense. He basically said you can't put that on her if it's not been proven definitively that somebody actually wrote the material. Now I ask you guys this. Uh, do you, how, where y'all stand at with this? Cause me personally, I don't, I can't, I don't know. All I could say is the material, the shit that she was spitting on Saturday was crazier than anything I've ever heard her say before. I will say that much, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was written for, I don't know if it wasn't written for, but I know it was crazy regardless of what it is. I did see people saying, uh, you know, QP is, is, is happy right now. Now, what I will say is this, QP type of nigga, he be saying shit. Like if he did it, he type of nigga, he'd tell, he'd tell didn't, didn't he just say that he did six nine or whatever the case may be. So he is going, what, what don't, you know, my grandma used to say, what don't come out in the wash is going to come out in the rinse. So if it, if it's, if he did do it, he's going to say it someday anyway. But I do think that she, until proven, you know, the elephant in the room is this is happening. But until proven, you can't really decipher that or say, whether it's true or not. Uh, Cedar Boss definitely deserves some more props and admiration for the battle that she had. She went crazy, but not, you know, Farah is still finding herself and she's got rust, you know what I'm saying? So she was choking and stumbling and slipping and blipping all throughout her shit. So, but Cedar Boss deserves that props and admiration. Um, Prestavia, 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 whatever her name is, she's crazy too. She battled on Sunday. She battled Diesel and she went fucking crazy in all three rounds. If you niggas seen that, listen here. Woo, whoa, hold up, holy moly. Christian's got another one. They just bringing them in from everywhere. Christian here, Christian there, Christian now everywhere. Salute to the four horsemen. She was going noodles on that girl. I don't even remember what she was saying, but I know it was crazy and I know it's very intricate. Uh, 40 bars versus uh, Casey J. I still have 40 bars winning. 40 bars was just way, her pen was just way too intricate. She was doing way too much. Like she was, she was, she was in her bag. I seen Jazz try to say that Casey won. She might be one of the only ones that, that'll say that. Um, she needs to battle too, because battle rap is gonna pass you. Like it is, battle rap's not waiting for nobody. Um, she was fire. 40 bars was was was, was wilding. Um, 
I still got C3B and Vixen. Uh, Vixen is dope. She got shit, but uh, C3 is uh, was on another level. I still got a uh, real name Brandon being next all three rounds, 3-0. Uh, he was just on some other shit, and he and he going to the to the to the big game to, to battle against MVP, and that should be one too. I don't think nobody had them two niggas predicted to make it to the last battle, but that be happening. Holmes he battled Bill Collect in one of the last joints. Fonz battled Jaden Nightwing in one. No nobody could predict who gonna make it to the last battle. That shit just doesn't work like that. But what I will say is this. Um, Salute to Debo, salute to Queen of the Ring, salute to Babs Vague, all them cats who put this event together. It definitely was, it was better than probably a lot of people thought it was going to be or was predicted to be. I'm going to have it a notch above like some of the shit that's been going on recently. These ladies really was putting on, like they was rapping, rapping, like they was for real. I still need to see Coffee Brown versus Mrs. Hustle. I don't know what card that shit going to happen on, but I need to see that shit. Um, I will say for Yoshi, you know, this is what's being spoke about. I don't know. I don't have no proof that what you writing ain't from your youth. I don't know, but niggas is saying that it's nasty out here and you getting ghost written for. And niggas is actually saying that other people deserve your shot. But if you if you doing your own shit, you gotta stand on that and address that sooner or later. I think you're gonna have to address that whether. I mean, I know you ain't going to outright say a nigga writing for you. I think you've already mentioned it, but it, it, it's spinning the block again. Niggas is trying to say that. Your pen ain't your pen. Um, NFL's back. I don't really want to talk. The Giants is trash. Denver smoked us. Uh, there were some other good games on yesterday. Um, the Eagles. Jalen Hurts looks really good. Really, really good. Way better than what many predicted. I know it was just one game against Atlanta. Atlanta is fucking horrible. But uh, he looked really good. Tyrod Taylor looked good for Houston. Uh, it, there was a lot of good-looking football last night. Um, we'll, we'll continue on to see how that goes. But other than that, salute to every single one of y'all. Y'all niggas already know what to do with it. Yo, she, my nigga. It's nasty out here. Don't be having niggas, don't, you know what I'm saying? Accusing you of being written for my nigga because that's some nasty shit niggas. It's not going you you got busy with what you got busy with But it, 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 if you got written for it's not given what it was supposed to gave you use all the antics to get to the to the to the level that you were supposed to get to You know what I'm saying all the shit you was doing all that shit you got where you were supposed to go now It's like you got to be rap like I can't even ask when you start rapping I'm gonna I'm I'm go ahead and head out, man. Y'all need, yo, yo, stay up. Yo!